Hi, it's Jennifer from Soul Source Tarot, and I'm here to do a reading for Aquarius. This is for Aquarius, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus, and this is for mid-June. So just take what resonates and leave the rest. <clears throat> what do we have for Aquarius for the middle of June? Two of Wands, so you need to make a decision. You're at this crossroads. What are you going to do? Are you going to stay or are you going to go? You know, so I think that you're you're at that that fork in the road, right? This this is your fork in the road where you need to choose. It looks like you have a bright future ahead of you, but there's still some sort of tie to the past. <sighs> so it looks like you know that you need to make a decision. It's like you have the whole world in your hands. Uh, there's a passionate opportunity that you need to. Uh, or that you have, you know, right in front of you. Um, but you're having a hard time stepping over that edge. You're having a hard time uh, going towards the future. So I feel like you're, you're, you're thinking right now. You may be lacking contentment. This has to do with some sort of partnership. You, you know, is the grass greener on the other side? So I think that's what you're thinking. Should I, should I stay or should I go? So... With, in the middle of uh, June, you're going to be uh, making some sort of decision. I do not think that it's an easy one because I see the level of discontent on your face. Um, this does have to do with leaving something behind and that is never easy. So there's restlessness. I think that you're feeling restless. Ooh, nine of pentacles reversed. Now you must take action. You must. It feels like there's a lack of self-worth here. Okay, there's a lack of self-esteem. You may not want to be alone. Maybe that's why you're so discontent. There's maybe fear of being alone. Um, you get the Nine of Pentacles in reverse. There's insecurities. So your insecurities are probably keeping you trapped wherever you're at. There's a need for discipline and you must take action. It is time to focus on your future. Listen, listen, listen to yourself only. Now I have to tell you, you complete you. Nobody else does. So we do have an individual here that is letting their own insecurities uh, hold them back from an exciting future. Okay, so... I think right now you're thinking about your future you're thinking about independence what whether you you know want to be alone or you want to be with whoever this person is you could be dealing with an individual that isn't very loving they may be very secretive they don't tell you everything um, they're withdrawn they don't communicate well they're closed off they may see themselves as a victim all the time they could use emotional blackmail as a tactic they may not have good intentions and that would be who you're leaving behind now you it feels like you're having a hard time letting this person go because probably at the beginning they showered you with so much love so I feel like that's a that's a big deal but I think that you you know that this person um, Maybe you feel like this person doesn't really love you. They're not telling you everything. Uh, oh, Page of Swords reversed. There could be an age gap. Doesn't have to be. There could even be a child involved. Doesn't have to be. But the Page of Swords reversed is uh, enemy in disguise. Somebody who's not really your friend. Okay, this person probably plays some sort of mind games with you they may be a cheater they may be a liar you know they're emotionally unavailable and it looks like you need to turn your back on this person but i think that you maybe you're afraid maybe you're afraid you don't want to agitate them right this person may fly off the handle very very easy and say mean 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 things you do you could be dealing with somebody that is very argumentative and that's why you know you you want to focus on your future. You know you have this opportunity, but whoever you're dealing with may be very spiteful. Okay, they may be very spiteful. They may be a big gossip as well. Maybe, you know, they're very vindictive and that's one of the reasons why you're still staying there because, you know, they're going to say all kinds of things. Let me... So I feel like right now, um, there's, you could be, uh, dealing with somebody who's not really in it, 
Okay, they're not in it. And I think that you know that. Yeah, walking away. Walking away, saying goodbye. I feel like there's some level of disappointment here. Um, and, you, and you want to say goodbye. You do. I think that I think that you do. So you may be saying goodbye. Maybe you know you're 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 gonna be choosing to deal with the conflict. You know that that when you tell this person that you don't want to be with them, it's going to cause conflict. And I think you've been trying to avoid conflict, and maybe that's why you've been pretending to be happy or whatnot. Ten of Wands reverse. Now that is making a conscious change to drop this baggage or burden. I feel like you've been carrying it for a long time and it's been weighing very, 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 very heavily on your heart. It's probably caused you some sort of animosity within yourself. It's caused you a lot of stress within holding on to this. And I think the only reason you've held on is because of, you know, you don't want to be alone. You just don't want to be alone. There's fear of being alone here. Um, but I do feel eventually you are going to let go. Because this is in the outcome position. The Ten of Wands is letting go. It's it's dropping this weight. Dropping this burden. Dropping this baggage and walking away. So right now you're in the process of making that decision. To turn your back on somebody that probably doesn't express their feelings to you. They've caused a lot of uh, emotional turmoil or disappointment on you. They've held you down for a while. Um... The King of Pentacles. Now, this maybe, you know, this person has brought you some sort of stability. Maybe you're trying to do the right thing. Uh, there's some sort of financial aspect that is keeping you bound as well. Could be dealing with a Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn, or a Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio. Um, it feels like you're trying to be loyal as well. You're trying to be practical I feel like um, one of the other reasons why you're hanging on is because of, it's secure. It's secure, right? This is secure. And, and, and this is a level of insecurity. So when you're in a situation that is secure, it's like you have something, right? You have something. But I feel like you're going to do the right thing. I feel like you're going to do the practical thing and the responsible thing. Um there's something to do with being very materialistic here, holding on for the money. Somebody is probably holding on for the assets, but again, letting go, opening up, okay? So I, I, I really feel like the middle of June, somebody is going to be uh, letting go of their fear. They're going to be making a conscious change to drop something that they have been holding on to. Um, they're going to be very practical, even though, you know, it's not going to be easy. Somebody is going to be walking away. I'm not interested. I, I, I don't, I'm not interested anymore. I, so yeah, somebody has lost interest in whoever they have been dealing with. They have, and it's been a very, it's been a time of, of sadness, of discontent. And I think that's why you're in the process of, you know, focusing on the future. You're probably looking, maybe you're looking on the internet for somebody more exciting, right? You're, you're already looking, you got your eye on somebody else, but you can't move forward because you're still um, holding on to whoever this person is only for the security of it. That's it. That's it. Because there's no love with the King of Cups reverse. There's no love. I think it's, it's held you down for a long time. Um, but this is, is letting go. It's, it's time to relax. It's opening up. It's, you know, with the four of cups, this is, um, you've been over analyzing and thinking about it for quite some time. And it feels like you have another opportunity that's been waiting for you to grab it. You've been, it's been waiting for you to grab onto it. And you see it. You know who this is. You've got another opportunity. You do. But you're focusing on something that is stable but not love. So it's like you're missing an opportunity for true love by hanging on to somebody just for materialistic reasons. You know, or stability reasons, or to fulfill your inner securities, you know what I mean? Just to say you have somebody. Eight of Wands reversed, so just not ready, taking a lot of time to think about it. That's what's going on. You're thinking you're not ready to move yet. You want to move. You're at that, you're at that crossroads where you know you've got to make a choice, but 
You're really, really, really having a hard time moving forward. You're blocking your emotions. You are um, probably not expressing your true feelings. Whoever that you're dealing with knows that you're not happy. They know it, but they're holding on as well. They're holding on. Maybe they have some sort of jealousy issues. Um, there's a lack of honesty here. There's a lack of truth. Somebody isn't taking their power in their own hands. They've given their power away to an individual that is very uh, stubborn. This person is possessive. Uh, very much focused on uh, what you can give them by the looks of things. Not accepting the truth, not seeing the truth, refusing to see, speak the truth. There's a lack of communication as well with these two cards. You're dealing with an individual that does not communicate well. They, they lack communication skills. They may even have blocked communication. And it's like you're missing another opportunity because you're, it's like you need to let this person go. You need to drop them. You need to drop them. But with this ace of, this is somebody, and I don't know if it's you or the person that you're, somebody's being dishonest with themselves. There's dishonesty here. Ah. So I feel like that, you know, there's a lot of uh, petty arguments. There's a lot of competition between the two of you. There's a lot of game play. There may be a lot of drinking going on. Uh, there's a lot of uh, socializing. You could be socializing with other people. Um Wanting to socialize with other people. Now this is making a decision. But. The nine of pentacles. You must take action. You must take. And this is. You must, you must take action. To stop playing games with a person that. Maybe in a third party, I mean, Three of Cups, a third party situation, this person may have a drinking problem or, or they may be talking to others or they are talking to somebody online or you are or something like that. There's, there's a strong competition here. It's like you may, and this person may love the fact that they have so much competition and you know that you have competition with this person. I mean, who wants to be in a relationship with that? Who wants to be in a relationship with a person that, uh, is talking to others really seriously in all reality here. Okay. Who wants to be part of the competition? Really, most people want to be the one. They don't want to be involved in a competition, you know. I see, I, I see that you, there's probably multiple people that are probably communicating and socializing with this person that isn't really communicating with you. I think the person that is withdrawn, that is cold, that is staying with you for further financial reasons, is playing with others. Okay? They're playing with others. And I think that you know that. I do. But I think because you don't want... It's socializing. Social media is big. Okay? And I feel like... You know, you need to protect yourself. You need to defend yourself. And I think that's what you've been doing as well. I think there's been a lot of petty arguments and petty fights because I think there's a drifting apart between these two people. I think you two are drifting apart. There's lack of togetherness. There's lack of communication. Whoever you're dealing with is with you for the stability. Just And likewise, both. Both of you are with each other for the stability. That's what I see. I, I feel like, you know... You need to make a choice. You need to choose. Do you want to keep playing games? Do you want to be in a competition? Do you? Do you? Do you want to? Is that what you want? Do you want to keep being part of the competition? Or do you? would you rather be by yourself? You can take care of yourself. But this is a lack of 
you know, this is doubtful. It's doubtful. Not wanting to be alone. You know, there's there's an opportunity here that you are missing. There's an opportunity that you are missing. All you have to do is focus on the future and turn your back on the person that is not giving you the love that you deserve. Okay? <laughs> We also have dropping weight. Somebody may be focusing on dropping weight. Focused on financial stability. Very materialistic individual here that isn't telling the truth. They are definitely not communicating well. They're, very, they're not really interested in what you have to offer. Or you are missing an opportunity because you're playing games with an individual that is emotionally unavailable. Yeah, that's an ending. There's a betrayal. I think there's been, maybe there's been some cheating. Somebody has been cheating. They've cheated. This is the cheating. This is a betrayal. Which causes an ending. This is the death of a situation. Somebody has went as low as they can go with another person. It's over. This is goodbye. And this is goodbye. So it feels as though the decision is about to be made to say goodbye. It's over because of a third party situation. I think that there could be a fight where something is... Uh, revealed this person pouts this person pouts they withdraw they don't communicate because and they don't want to talk about it because they don't want to get caught that's why they clam up they clam up and they retreat and they hide because they don't want to get caught if, if we don't talk about it if they give the silent treatment then great that's a great way, way out so anyway, Aquarius, I feel as though you are going to be making a choice. That is your choice. What 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 are you going to do? Death and justice. So these are both majors. So this is about doing the right thing, acting with integrity, making a final decision to end something. That is a death. So that you can have a new beginning. So this month, I feel as though there is a decision based on the truth, based on the facts that are going to come out, that are going to cause an ending. And this does have to do with a contract. So there's a contract that is coming to an end. It is a karmic contract. This is ending... Um, because somebody has been lying, they haven't been telling the truth. And some sort of fact is going to be revealed about a third party that causes this completion. The competition may speak up. The competition may speak up. Whoever the competition is may say something. I have to tell you that you have another opportunity waiting for you. You do. And I think that you know that you do. But you have to be practical. Everything is going to turn out in your favor. And I think another reason why... Uh, somebody has stayed was because of legal reasons you know legal issues money money anyhow I do see dropping this heavy weight this burden that you've been carrying and moving on and shutting down communication with this person who really hasn't been treating you very well anyway with that king of cups reverse this person doesn't even know how to communicate doesn't know how to express their feelings is always the victim 
So I have to tell you this ending does turn out in your favor. Do not let fear get in the way of you making the choice that is best for you. This person that you have been holding on to because of security reasons does not complete you. You endings, you have a new beginning here with somebody else. You do. But you have to accept the ending first. So that's where we're at. So you're going to be making a decision to turn your back on an individual that is not very loving. And they don't have good intentions. And you know it. Good luck.